I always liked the aesthetics of 80s movies and the tech they showcased. Every object had a character, angular designs, tactile buttons, that satisfying mechanical click. Tech wasn't just functional, it was dramatic, theatric in plastic and LEDs. My name is Nino and in today's video we will show you how you can make your own ATtiny based Arduino game console. This console has a compact keychain like format and it is a great introduction into electronics and a dexterity exercise when you're assembling it. It is even more fun when you're assembling it with friends together. The design of this game console is based around the ATtiny microcontroller. With its 8 kilobytes of flash, it is just barely enough to fit one game. The display is the SSD1306 OLED. With a resolution of 128 by 64 and I square C, this display is very common in Arduino projects and is available nearly everywhere. Here you can take a screenshot of the complete schematic. It will also be available on my GitHub page. Take notice that on the right side we have a piezo buzzer and a driver IC for that same buzzer. This driver consists of two NOT gates and it allows us to drive the speaker differentially. The advantage of doing it like this is effectively we are doubling the voltage swing across the piezo speaker in comparison to grounding one pin. So here we can see the advantage of differentially driving the piezo buzzer uh, in comparison to a uh, grounding one pin of the piezo element. Here the yellow signal we can see that is one pin on the, of the piezo and the blue one here is the other pin. Uh, that goes through the NOT gate. Um, if we subtract the two um, signals, the two channels, we will see the delta and that essentially that the peak is uh, much larger um, over the piezo element. After the schematic is done, you need to generate the PCB. Uh, you need to first position all of the components as you wish and after that you need to route everything. So here you can pretty much see that my PCB is already done uh, and after you're done with your design you need to generate the Gerber files. This brings us to our sponsor JLC PCB. From fast prototyping to series production they offer complete services from manufacturing to assembly for all of your projects. I have been their customer for years and I'm proud to be able to offer an affiliate link with a $70 discount for new users in the description below. Upload your Gerber files after a while, your PCB will appear in the view. And finally, now you can choose some of the many options that are available. I'm going to choose Black Solder Mask, Enig as my finish, and I'm going to remove their mark. Now I can save to cart and then proceed to checkout.
To program the ATtiny, you can use the Arduino Uno or in my case the Arduino Nano board. The first step would be to flash the Arduino ISP firmware onto your Arduino board. And afterwards, we can use the Arduino board to flash the ATtiny. Connect your controller according to this diagram. I suggest that you solder all of the wires instead of using a protoboard since it can cause connection issues. I will also link or make a detailed guide for flashing this controller. Radio, eh? Sve nemožeš, moraš se ne bode, vidiš? Tako, eh, sad je dobro. 